Hi everyone, Andrew here. Welcome to my latest video. In this video we see a number of different jumping spiders preying on a number of different animals in a number of different locations. We start in Lima, Peru with a small jumping spider and a small um, caterpillar. Uh, the plant that they're on is a sabila or uh, aloe vera plant. Wish I had had a, a, a better angle and a, been able to get closer for this footage, but I did the best I could with what I had at the time. So now we see the same attack again in slightly slower motion. And here we see the same spider with the same caterpillar, uh, much closer, much better uh, shot. So, and now we'll see that fall and twirl uh, again in uh, at slower speed in just a minute here. There we go. Jumping spiders almost always have that safety line, uh, the, a single uh, thread of silk that uh, they keep connected to the plant or, or whatever they, uh, they're on um, when they jump, or in this case because it was walking uh, upside down um, on the underside of this uh, leaf, she had that safety line uh, so she wouldn't fall all the way to the ground. And now we see same location, same type of spider, I'm not sure if it's the same individual or not just jumping onto the camera. And now we switch to Tooele, Utah in the United States. This is actually near Tooele, Utah, which is near Salt Lake City. And we see a Phidippus audax jumping spider uh, chasing around a small wasp. Now we see the same jumping spider on the same day, but uh, she, had wise, she wisely moved to uh, this watermelon to find more opportunities and if you're wondering why the watermelon is here, it's because I ate the watermelon while sitting outside, same with the avocado, and then I placed uh, the avocado inside the, uh, this half of a watermelon and left the, the watermelon sitting out like this for a little while before putting it in the compost pile. Now we see the, wa the spider has to try and fail several times here before she finally gets it right. This spider, as I mentioned, is a Phidippus audax. We'll see a number of examples of the Phidippus audax uh, species in this video. Um, this particular individual was a juvenile female um, at the time of this, uh, of the recording of this video. This one was so close, almost got that one. You can see she actually falls on her back and then has to flip over. These spiders are really beautiful, really interesting. I've always enjoyed observing um, spiders. I've seen the jumping spiders hunt many different types of, of prey. And here we go, she finally has success with this one fly. And we can see her with the fly now. So now we see another Phidippus audax um, in the same location. It might even be the same spider, but now it's an adult. Uh, in this video, and you can see at this point uh, two of its legs are still bound. You can't really tell, but the uh, the black widow was walking in its web when the jumping spider uh, ambushed it. And now we see the jumping spider go back uh, for seconds with the same black widow. So just to be clear, the previous footage uh, that was very brief um, came before this footage the first attack, when the jumping spider first attacked and killed the Black Widow, I failed to capture that on video. I was getting my camera ready when that happened. This is not the first time I've seen a Phidippus audax uh, jumping spider kill a Black Widow. Uh, 
jumping spiders very often prey on other spiders and black widows are no, ex are, are no exception. I like this uh, little spider. This is another Phidippus audax. This is also a juvenile, but this one is in Portland, Oregon in the United States. And what it's trying to do here is to get into the shadow of my camera, which I didn't want because I was trying to use the light of the day to film it, and I didn't <laughs> want to lose the light. Um, so I, I kept moving my camera. Now we see it. So now we're back to Tooele, Utah, another Phidippus audax. This is a small male Phidippus audax in the foreground trying to mate with a female. This is a courtship display here. There's a female with another spider in her mouth that he approaches and mounts. And then I lost the footage. He ran away uh, while I was repositioning for a better shot. So here's the same female. The male ran away. The, the, so the small male that we saw, he either successfully or unsuccessfully mated with uh, the female, he at least tried, and then he ran away unharmed, but uh, the female has another spider in her mouth. She had another spider in her mouth at the time, which was why it made sense for that male, it was a good strategy for that male to try to mate with her while her mouth was full. Um, so now the, the this female, uh, the spider, the Spodipus audax, is being harassed by some ants, so she wisely uh, walks away. And here we see it again, the confrontation with the ants in uh, slower, at a slower speed. Of course, um, I don't know whether this female mated with the male that she's eating, or if she rejected him. Anyway, here we go to another uh, jumping spider. This one also in Tooele, but a different species. Um, and she's, she was looking at a grasshopper, but then decided to go with a smaller, easier prey. I don't know what that prey is. It's some small bug that's hard to see. Now we go back to Portland. We get to see another Phidippus audax, this time with a caterpillar. And we're going to see, there we go, uh, the jumping spider pooping. Uh, something people have often asked is, do spiders poop? And of course they do. Anything that eats probably poops. But people ask that question, so there's your answer. And now we see, um, we see what fear looks like in a jumping spider. It was a confrontation between two male Phidippus audax spiders in Portland, Oregon, and the one uh, ran away in fear. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, uh, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos featuring spiders and other interesting animals. And as always, thank you for watching.